So we've looked at the theory of planetary nebula. Now we're going to look at the actual evidence to suggest that it's really out there, that it's the correct theory. This is the Orion Nebula, one of the most beautiful uh, nearby nebula for us to see. You can see Orion's belt just by looking up at the night sky at any time. These here are what we call protostars, something we discussed a little bit earlier. So this is the beginning of a new star being formed and they're gathering together because there's gravitational forces between each of them. When they do get together and they start to form into a new star, you have entities that look quite a lot like that. This is the spinning accretion disk of, of dust, of gas, particles, which are, through the force of gravity, coming together under immense amounts of pressure toward the center to create what we call the protostar. Now the protostar starts to burn that material. It starts to fuse it. But it's not the only star in the area. There are going to be many other powerful stars, especially in, in something like the Orion Nebula. And they can cause the accretion disk to burn off right there. The energy from those stars is literally causing that dust cloud to burn off, and it will not form planets in that case. Here we have a protostar which has an intact accretion disk, which is going to collapse, as you see there, into these rocky formations that become the protoplanets. And so this star will actually have an orbiting solar system. You can see here the separating lines of the accretion disk which were theorized long ago. Now in reality we have actually found these. This is one of the main reasons that we accept this hypothesis as being potentially correct. We have found these individual strata. As you can see here this is a real world example from the ALMA radio telescope that show the individual distinct groupings of dust and matter in that accretion disk. So from that we eventually form what we now know today as a solar system and all of this from an amazing dust cloud that came from an early exploding star to form an accretion disk centered around a single point of fusing matter which we call our home star, the Sun.